no matter how minimal the discomfort that they're feeling is, it really creates changes in some of the muscles that are there to provide stability and control for the knee joint. And if the knee joint becomes compromised and the muscles that are providing that stability aren't able to do what they're supposed to, you're going to get more stress into the knee joint itself. And not only that, but that stress is going to start transferring up to the hip, it's going to start transferring into the lower back, and you start to see people present with other conditions outside of just the knee. In your experience, Mike, how often do you see people that have knee conditions that don't get them rehabbed properly start to experience other aches and pains in other areas of their body? I see that a lot, Kevin. In a lot of ways, sometimes I see knee pain as being the symptom of something else. So not only can knee pain create problems above and below the knee, the knee can be a lot of issues coming from elsewhere as well. Because I think the thing I always like to, to relay to my athletes is the body is a lot smarter than we give it credit for. The body is a compensating machine. If you're having pain, if, if you stand here and, and I put 100 pounds on your shoulder, you could squat that 100 times. I put a little piece of glass under your heel and suddenly you become very weak. Nothing happened to your muscles, nothing happened to your knees, but your body sends pain and it's gonna shut muscles down and it's gonna create you to compensate to get away from that pain. Your body does not wanna be in pain and it's gonna do everything it can to get away from that pain. The thing we do as, as sports medicine specialists, find the source of the pain, find simple, quick ways to eliminate it and get them back to doing what they wanna do. Because just like with, with your car, if your car has a little bit of a wheel alignment, it doesn't matter if you're driving a $300 clunker or Ferrari. If you have a wheel alignment, that machine is not going to move the way it's supposed to. Our job with this program and our job as clinicians is to work on that alignment, get people back to what they want to do to get back into the sports to be happy. That's excellent, Mike. The car analogy is actually a great one because when we talk about the stability and control of the body and when we talk about the core more specifically, you know, most people have talked about the core being the abdominal area. Now we're very specific within the FPR program that we talk about the core from being from the breastbone down to the knees. And you mentioned earlier about the pelvis and how many muscles attach from the pelvis going down. That really becomes that suspension system for the rest of your body. So going back to the car analogy, if you're taking the shocks out of your car, you can still drive it around from point A to point B. But every little bump and every little pothole that you hit all of that shock and stress is going to go into the frame. And a lot of people are actually walking around throughout their lives without any shocks that are working to help control those forces and absorb some of that stress that we experience on a daily basis as we walk around. And during this program, I'm going to emphasize a lot of talk about the glutes. So we talk about everything above and below the, the core. We've got to look in back. And we talk about the glutes, and when I point that out during this program of you implementing and using those glutes to drive it through the front part of the hip, you're going to see a big issue and a lot of benefits and really strengthen that full core and getting the benefits of being pain-free. Absolutely. You know, that back part is typically what we call professionally the posterior chain. So for those of you who, who are out there and you actually come across that type of terminology, it just basically means all of the muscles that you can't see when you're looking in the mirror. Most of the muscles that we typically emphasize when we go to the gym for conditioning are all of the anterior muscles. And they're called a chain because we know that all of the muscles are connected to one another. There's no muscle that ever works in isolation. So the posterior chain, like Mike was talking about, really focuses on creating better posture and better control within your core to help alleviate that chronic recurrent knee pain you're experiencing.